Professor Jeremy Genoux, the man behind the Calgary and Montreal musical conversation. Uh, so Jeremy, where, where did the idea for this come from? Um, so I used to live in Montreal um, and uh, played music uh, with some people there. And uh, the idea came from wanting to play with them again and reconnect with that, uh, that, that musical community that I had there. Um, and then uh, around that, I, I, I wanted it to be a, a little wider than just playing, playing with uh, my buddies and, uh, and, uh, and, and really see the length between the two cities uh, that, that, that have... Uh, that are very different, but I have a lot in common in a, in a way as well. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that. What are the, the what are the differences in the musical cultures of the two cities? Uh, uh, so, so from your experience, for, so from my experience, like uh, uh, Montreal is definitely much more of a of a has much more of a history uh, with artists in general, but music in, in particular. And so, there's a huge, at least compared to Calgary, a huge scene. Um, whereas uh, uh, Calgary is maybe a little newer in, in this way, um, yeah, but uh, but they're both very uh, uh, international cities. Uh, uh, lots of uh, uh, people from uh, a lot uh, the, the whole world, really. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, for this, I think there's a, a lot of uh, of communal or common common uh, common ideas uh, going around. So, how did you choose? The, the participants, both from Montreal and Calgary? And... Um, so there were people in, 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 Cal in Montreal that I really wanted to, to play with. Uh, and um, uh, what, I, what I wanted to do is, is to have all people who have uh, a foot in, uh, in traditional music and a foot in um, improvisation. Uh, or like as, as, as little as just being able to improvise to being well-versed in, in, in Free improvisation, and uh, and so that's kind of like what I used to uh, to choose the, the the other people is uh, is, uh, is that uh, kind of like uh, by focus, right? So is it so it's not necessarily jazz improvisation? It's improvisation in a, in a bigger sense, right? Yes, exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, in, a, in in the largest sense possible. And, yeah. and for some people, it'll be more jazz. For some people, it'll be uh, more experimental or or free. It's but all. All have uh, have this uh, this ability to 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 just converse musically, um, uh, improvising. So, what's the process? Are people bringing, uh, you know, ideas, compositions, and and how we work together? That's right. So uh, the way the way we did it is that um, uh, at the very beginning of the process, everybody put out uh, uh, who they are musically, uh, with it, with, whereas it's uh, recordings or. Uh, um, description of of, uh, of their instrument when they're when they're uh, uh, unique, and um, uh, and then everybody had to write pieces for the ensemble, knowing the little bit of information from those from those uh, recordings, mm. um, and uh, and the idea were that the the the, the, the compositions or there were some some arrangements, but uh, mostly compositions um, were to dwell about those. Uh, concepts of identities and conversations. So, like the different identities of the two cities, the the, the varied people in each of these cities, and uh, and how they can converse with each other. And so, uh, the identity kind of like binds in with the concept of traditional music, uh, and uh, the conversation more with the improvisational aspect. Mm -hmm. So when you say traditional, like what sort of musical backgrounds are going to are people bring to this? That's uh, so uh, traditional music is is basically music that's been played for um, a long long time enough that nobody really remembers when it it necessarily started. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, related to to maybe a older sounds of folk music, uh, uh, music originally played by the commoners. Um, and, uh, and and music that have that have a a, a high cultural uh, identity um, that really ties to a language or a nation or uh, or or or, or um, cultural group. So, what are some of the specific elements that yes. people would hear in this in this so ensemble? There's going to be some uh, some traditional Chinese music. 
some some uh, elements of tr uh, traditional Quebecois music, um, some uh, various music from Europe, Romanian, um, uh, Bulgarian, flamenco, and some some little elements of French music. Cool. Um, and so you're t working together for before the concert for two weeks or one week? That's right. Yeah, two we have weeks. two weeks uh, 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 rehearsing and, and, and workshopping Sweet. those pieces uh, before uh, we present them. Will will everything be the full ensemble or do you envision having sort of smaller units from within the, the eight people? So uh, there's most of most of the concert will be the, the, the full ensemble. Uh, there's a, there's a, a, a few pieces that are, that are a little smaller, uh, like five uh, the, the, the instruction I gave to uh, to everyone is that if they had smaller ensemble, they had to be at least one person from each city. Right. Because otherwise, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's yes. the concept is that to be able to play with people you uh, you wouldn't be able to play day to day because they're 3,000 kilometers away. Do the, four, do, the four, do the people from each city normally play with each other? Um, you mean in each city? Yeah, like the four from Montreal, are they normally involved in music together and the four from Calgary? Um, uh, to a certain a meet, extent. A meeting of minds? There's, there's a bit of both. Yeah. Um, uh, I think for the, for the Montreal part, uh, they probably all have played at least, you know, by two, two by two, uh, um, maybe even three by three. I don't think they have ever played all four of them, but that's, that, that's not impossible. <laughs> uh, in, uh, in Calgary... Um, it's maybe a little, uh, th there's some connections, but maybe a little less, uh, um, I guess for me, it was easier to reach out to people, uh, I, I knew less in Calgary. Um, uh, so, so I, uh, there's like, for example, Jaja, I've, I've, I've followed for a long time, but I never had uh, the chance to play with her. So, um, so yeah, we talked about the process. So what can the audience expect? Why should the audience come? Why okay. should people come to hear this? So um, there's going to be a lot of music that uh, you've probably never heard, um, whether it's it's a it's a kind of music that you haven't heard or it's just a, the way to present it. Um, uh, personally, I, I I I know very little about uh, Chinese traditional music, and there's going to be some some uh, some elements of that. Uh, and so if you haven't heard that before, that's going to be your first. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure you also will. Discover uh, some uh, some Eastern European music um, that uh, it's we don't hear that very often in, in Calgary, um, and uh, but the main thing that's going to be really new is, is is the way some of the pieces are putting combining those uh, those elements together. Um, there's some the, there's some pieces that are going to be very fun. Uh, that are really presented in terms of of games. Um, there's the, there's one piece uh, that really just deconstructs our uh, Quebec fill tune and gives each person a note to play in the tune. And so it's going to sound, part of it is going to sound very traditional. And some of it, although it's directly stems from, from that traditional tune, it's going to, I don't, I don't know yet what it's going to sound like, but it's going to be really exciting both for us to play and for the audience to see that. The, 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 the playfulness uh, happening and like really like the, the little games that are happening mm. the, the, between us. Cool. So, so what what will be the measure of success for you coming out of this project? What what does success look like? Um, the first uh, success is artistic. Like, do we feel uh, uh, like we created something uh, that was um, uh, that was really worth it? Very uh, very um, uh, um, that that pushed each other, uh, each, um, each artist uh, beyond what they do usually. Um, then the, the, the next uh, measure of success is the, uh, if the audience come through and, and if they come through, uh, how, how, they, how they enjoyed the, the experience. Do you, how are you going to document this, the session? Are you planning to record? So we are recording the, the, the concerts uh, and uh, we all we're also presenting the concert um, uh, in December in Montreal, right? And over there, uh, we're gonna we're gonna film it. Oh great! Yes. Okay. Where's that? Maison de la Culture? Or yes, uh, yeah. it's uh, Maison de la Culture Mercier. Ah, yeah. excellent, cool. Yeah. S and um, yeah, that. Do you see? As this as a first of many, will there be other musical conversations that you'd like to have? Uh, so um, that's definitely in, in in the back of my mind. Uh, so like that's. 
as the first of, of this kind of project, it's, it's, uh, uh, there's a lot of experimentation and, and tries. Um, I already know that if I were to do it again, I would, I would do some things differently. And, uh, uh, so, um, um, but I'm also excited to see what, what comes out of this one to see uh, what, we, what, what we can keep uh, to, uh, for the future. And tell, that's great, Jeremy. Thank you very much. That's I think we we've probably done enough. But I, I wanted to ask you because that's just to transcribe it. Will be yeah, it's, yeah. it's a big job. Although if I go to CBC, I could dump it into a computer and transcribe it. It does that for you. <laughs> yeah, there must be online transcription services for audio. Oh, files. I'm sure. Yeah, um, it's it's, it's yeah. a pretty simple thing for an AI just yeah. to grab the audio and, and do it, even for math. <laughs> I hope. And my accent. Yeah. Uh, so tell me about like because I, I obviously I know a bit about the Calgary musicians. I mean I know of course I worked with Robin. All, all a great deal, and um, uh, had work. Well, I is not on the project yeah. anymore. Know a bit about Shaja, uh, and I know I know a bit about Funyap as well. Mm -hmm. And but I don't know anything about the Montreal musicians. So who who are they, and what are they bringing? What do you, uh, uh, so we have uh, Hugo Bluin, who is a bass player. Uh, he he plays almost every kind of music from jazz to. Uh, traditional uh, Quebec. He he uh, he was part of uh, the group Mass, uh, which got a little bit of a, of, a, of Canadian attention. Um, and uh, and what uh, his uh, his main project that he's been doing is to transcribe speeches from the um, from the Commission Charbonneau, uh, like court sessions, mm -hmm. and he transcribes those the words into music. And oh, wow. makes a jazz tunes of them. It's huh. really cool. Interesting. Um, it's really cool, and um, uh, he's an amazing improviser too. Uh, and we also have um, Aurélien Tomasi uh, on clarinet and saxophones, um, who's uh, uh, also very involved in, 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 in the musical community. He's uh, he used to be with the uh, Royal Pickles, and uh, he's now leading the. Um, um, What's that? Uh, Gypsy Cumbia Orchestra. Oh, okay. He took uh, Zillian's place, I think. Yes, yeah. You know Zillian Biret? Uh, no. Yeah, I, I, I know him a little bit, yeah. 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 And so, uh, yeah, he, he, he's, uh, he's now uh, playing with them. Um, he's, he also, he, he, he's played with a, a, a lot of other uh, projects in Montreal. Mm -hmm. but, and uh, he's, he's got also in a project where he... Um, it's a, like a brass band that uh, uh, plays like waltzes with some really cool uh, 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 compositions and arrangements. Uh, uh, a little jazzy too. Hmm. Uh, we also have uh, um, Sebastien Leblanc, uh, who's one uh, one person who I played a lot with uh, uh, back in Montreal when I, when I lived there. Uh, he uh, he specializes in uh, in uh, in Romanian traditional music, and uh, uh, he he went uh, to Romania and Moldova. Hmm. And numerous times to uh, to to learn closely the the, the, oh. the music from uh, from the people, and uh, um, he he plays guitar and uh, uh, Tilinka and Caval who are that those are uh, um, uh, flutes. Uh, ah, okay. I was uh, wondering about that. I saw them listening. I didn't know what it was. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I knew little about it yeah. also. Uh, and then um, yeah, so 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 he's uh, really specialized in that, in that kind of music. Um, and uh, we have uh, uh, Mathieu Langlois, who's, uh, who plays both flamenco guitar and saxophone. And mm. he, he specializes, obviously, in, in, in flamenco, but uh, uh, also a lot in uh, Bulgarian traditional music uh, with a lot of uh, uh, odd rhythms. Interesting. Um, oh, very cool. Yes. Yeah, I know the possibilities are, uh, possibilities are great. Well, it sounds like super fun. I'm really much looking forward to that. Will the two nights be different? Well, because there's improvisation involved, yeah. uh, yes, <laughs> there's going to be some 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 different things. Uh, but uh, uh, um, the 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 program will be essentially the same. Right. Okay. Great, Jeremy. That's good. That's super.